Ah, yeah. That was the Donegal Reel. It's an arrangement by Stuart Ryan. Check him out, he's a great guitarist. Now, in this video, I want to talk to you about how to use IR's impulse response on acoustic guitar. So, what's an IR? Here's the definition. The guitar is our impulse and the system that we are simulating is basically the guitar going in through a nice microphone. That's about it. Traditionally, impulse responses have been used for reverb and cab simulation. To use an IR, we just need a convolution reverb. Most DAWs have a convolution reverb in Logic and School Space Designer. So let's open Logic and see how to use it. Let's open Space Designer, click on Load IR. Choose the impulse response we like. Now let's make sure all the settings are correct. So let's have the volume envelope all the way up. Attack 0, rate delay 0, size 100% and length all the way up. We want no low spread or high spread and we want no dry sound. Now let's turn off Space Designer and let's turn off the mic track. So here's the sound of the guitar pickup only. <laughs> So the direct sound is a bit dull, but the AR gives it back a bit of spark. Now let's listen to what the mic alone sounds like. And now the microphone and impulse response together. So what are the applications? If you don't have a mic and you want to improve the direct sound of your guitar, if you want to make a quick recording and you don't want to set up the mic and everything and put on headphones, or if it's a noisy day and you cannot use the mic because it's going to pick up everything that's happening outside, and if you have a Helix or a Kemper of an Axe Effect, you can load your IRs, play your acoustic guitar through and use it live. Let's see how it works with my HX Stomp. So now the AR is off, let's see how it sounds. And now it's on. I hope you liked that. If you did, like and subscribe down here and see you for the next video.